Hey, and welcome back to my own utopia. I am Kaylina, and today I am going to talk to y'all about my whips in FO. So welcome back, you guys. I am so excited that you guys have decided to come back and join me for another week that I get to show you guys what I have been working on and everything else like that. I am wearing my awesome spring slash summer shirt because I get to go see the doctor today. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, I am talking a wee bit low because I just got done like running through the whole entire house trying to get dressed, trying to get everything together so I can come in here, get the dogs taken care of, so I can just come and see you guys. Well, I mean, I can't wait until Friday because I get to actually see you guys. I actually get to communicate with y'all and I actually am really, really enjoying it so much. Oh my goodness. I want to say thank you to y'all for coming back and just joining me on my lives and being so patient with me while I'm being a busy mommy and trying to do this all at the same time. I really love the community that is joining and um, growing and everything else like that. I am absolutely loving it. Oh my God. I just want to throw that out there. I know. I went on a wee bit of a rant. I forgot my water. Oh well. Okay, anyways, I know you guys are not here for all of that. You're here to find out what I've been working on. So, uh, ooh, I almost forgot. So before we get into it, let's go ahead and take care of semantics. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, little bell for all for notifications. If you like content like this and you want to follow me on other social media, I am on Instagram and I am on Facebook. Everything will be linked down below. It's a Facebook group. Um, if you want to contact me personally, or if you want to do what you're working on Wednesday, uh, email will be linked down below as well. If you're wondering why in the world is she always looking over to the side is because I have three wonderful boys. My oldest one is eight, my middle is five, and my youngest is three years old. We have some medical issues and some special needs going on. So to make sure that they are doing okay and you guys can actually hear me, I have to do this during nap time. So they're right here on the monitor. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh my goodness. Um, fair warning before we do really get into it. Uh, before I forget, warning, what you working on Wednesday is next Wednesday. So if you're wanting to participate or anything else like that, please do not forget to take a photo of your project. It does not matter if it's an FO or a full whip or whatever it is. Please go over to my uh, Facebook group and go ahead and put it in there. I'll know time difference of when everything was put up. And I will definitely put it in into which working on Wednesday that is coming up this Wednesday. If you're needing a date, it will be the 26th. No, 27th. 27th is when what you're working on Wednesday is going to be put up and it's going to be the last what you're working on Wednesday for this month. So if you don't have a Facebook group or anything else like that and you're wanting to share it another way, like I said, head on over to my email. I will have it linked down below and you can share it on there as well. Yay! Okay, right, so I have one fo and i've been working on a whip that i've been trying everything i can to finish up so i finished a hat it's a knitted hat um i was wanting to knit but i didn't want to do the socks i know i need to really get a hold and finish those socks so i can at least get one entry in i'll get there I, i'll get there um but i wanted to finish the hat and i was going to try to sell it but I accidentally messed up. So can you see right here where it loops over? Same spot all the way around. I accidentally messed up. So I'm just going to crochet um, a little cowl that goes with it and I'm just going to donate it. And then I'm going to, I have like a big old skein. Sorry, today's trash day. I got a big old skein of this color. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, the color. Um, and I am going to crochet a few more hats and I am going to make a cow set and everything else like that. 
and that's what I'm going to do with this, the rest of the color. But that's my FO. Little knitted hat. It's the Ross's hat. Um, if you're ever wanting to get the pattern, it is free. Just type in uh, Ross's hat and it will pull right on up. It'll take you to the website and everything. You know, um, it's for free. Um, it's written in, what is it? One weight up to six weight, I want to say. And don't quote me that. I want to, I could be wrong, but it's a very simple, very easy, beginner friendly little hat. Nothing special, but that's my FO. Um, I have been working on my temperature blanket. Let me lower you guys down so you can see a little bit better. I feel like I have to sit here and be like way up to here when I shouldn't have to be. Um, I have been working really hard on my temperature blanket recently because I am really behind. I mean like I am I'm pretty behind. So I finished doing the very top. So I did January. I have the solid squares are blanks basically oh i am so sorry uh the center is the why in the world is my brain going blank is it low oh my goodness i don't know what is wrong with my brain right now oh well this is just the way it is Alright, so if the center is yellow, this is the high. No, it's the low. I was right. So this is the low, and then here is the high. So the low is on the inside, the high is on the outside. And um, so when you look at the calendar, you can actually sit there and see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's how you can calculate it, and it's done by um, exactly the way a calendar actually is. So it starts with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So you can actually look at it and see what days they are. Um, as you can see here, I actually split it in half just like you would for one of the calendars. Um, I got special holidays, anniversaries, birthdays. I have deaths in here as well. Um, yeah, I know it sounds sad, but I wanted it to be a family heirloom to tell you the truth. So I got January done. I know, really far behind. Um, I have all the temperatures written down. All 100%. I have the colors all written down. I have, like I'm keeping up with that. Um, so I have February finished. I am just started the second top for January, February, March, and then after I finish with March, I'm going to probably go ahead and sketch in the top, and I'm going to, I think this one's, I don't know which one this one is. I have to go back and look, but I have, I think this one is March. I think this was March. So I need to finish right, uh, doing March. I'm going to probably take um, my white yarn with me, finish up doing the top of the month. Um, after I get done doing that and putting the tops on and finishing and putting them all together. Yeah, it looks like I'm missing a row at the very bottom. Then I will go ahead and start doing um, finishing up the end of March and as soon as I get done finishing it and putting it together and everything else like that then I will do the top of January, February, March, April and then I'll do the top of April go ahead and sketch in April's the word of April and then I'll start doing the squares so that's 
my goal is to keep it interesting or it's like a lot that's going on but that's the only way I can keep myself interested um and then just keep on going and going and going and going and going until I can get it fully 100% caught up and then I can just start doing a um a square a day I'm sorry it looks like my eldest is waking up not sure but I want to say yeah I have some white squares. Oh, but yeah, it looks like that one's March. So from March, so April, May, June, July, I have four months I need to get caught up on. Um, that's not bad. I mean, for those that still like, this is the middle of the month or the middle of the year. And you still want to do a temperature blanket. There's still plenty of time that you can do it. It's not going to hurt. I mean, it's just, you're going to have to buckle down and do it. I mean, there's plenty of apps that you can go back to and see what the temperature actually was. And then write it down. And do it that way. Yeah, this is the right year. Um, so, that's all I'm working on. I'm trying to get caught up. That's all. I really can't think. I am like trying to figure out exactly what I'm about to do. Oh, that's the last thing. So I know some of y'all uh, have heard that I am revamping my new channel or second channel that I have. Um, my second channel is called Kaylina's Botanical Garden. I will be changing it. Um, in my Facebook group, I've actually already asked individuals, what do you think I should change it to? Um, I am going to be revamping it to show my life and my boys' lives and my family, my life through my eyes. So basically anybody that's seen through my eyes, they're part of my family. They're part of it as well, as long as they give me permission. Then that's what it's going to be about. So I'm going to be talking about my mental health, my actual health, my boy's health, uh, my struggles, my pains, my what it's like to be me, raw and who I am. Um, no shade, no nothing. I want it to be like I always preach. Be who you are. Accept yourself for who you are. And do not feel guilty about who you are. Love yourself for who you are. So... I've always wanted to do that. I always love the fact of actually like showing it. And then when I do my daily vlogs in October and November, you guys absolutely love it and everything else like that. So, and y'all have asked for more of it when I usually can't do it during November or December. But this way I can actually narrow it and you guys get more of a glimpse of what's going on and everything else like that. So I'm going to have the channel name right here. I'm going to have the link down below and a link up above to go on over there. I'm actually going to be working on a video in just a few seconds talking about something that I was diagnosed with and what the big changes that are happening in my life. And not only in my life, but in my boys, my husband, and how it's affecting the family as well. So, go ahead and join me over there if you don't want to. It's no big deal. It's no big shade. If you want to just stick over here for all the yarny goodiness, then please stay on over here. That's perfectly fine, sweetheart. Um, but, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Like I said, I have to get stuff ready for me going to a doctor's appointment. And I got a few more videos to do. Hopefully, if the boys will allow me and I have to pre-prep dinner. So I hope all of y'all have a wonderful day and blessed be.